As someone living with diabetes, regardless of the type, if you live with prediabetes, or if you're just someone who's concerned about keeping your blood sugars in a healthy range, you've probably heard about the A1C test. It can be a really important test, but it can also be an expensive test. Maybe your doctor's office is far away, you have to travel far to get there, or maybe your insurance company won't pay for the test. So what should you do? Well, it's your health. So that's what you have to put first. And the good news is there's actually a way of measuring your A1C in your own home, and it's surprisingly affordable. I'm Christelle from Diabetes Strong, and I've been living with type 1 diabetes since 1997. So I've had a lot of A1C tests done over the years, and the test I'm gonna show you today is the fastest, it only takes five minutes, so it's the most efficient way of measuring my A1C. In this video, I'll address some of the questions that you might have when it comes to at-home A1C testing, such as where can you actually get an at-home A1C test kit? How much does it cost? How do you actually do the test? What does it mean when you get that A1C number as well as how accurate are these tests? Let's dive in. The at-home A1C test kit is an over-the-counter product, uh, so you don't need a prescription to buy one. You can just go in and pick it up. I bought them from a few different places over the years, including my local pharmacy, which is a CVS, as well as from Amazon. The A1C Now kit from Amazon is the cheapest one I've found. Um, if you prefer to go to CVS, product looks like this, and it's just, it's a little bit more expensive. However, most people have a CVS around the corner, so it might be faster to get it that way. So how to pick your test kit? Well, it comes down to how much do you wanna pay and how fast do you want it? I have not tried to get my insurance to pay for the A1C test kit. Um, for some, my insurance generally doesn't wanna pay for anything and to get it reimbursed through the insurance, you usually need a prescription and I don't want to have to pay for a visit to my doctor to try and get my insurance to pay for the products, so I just pay cash. This kit has two tests in it and it cost me $52.79, so that's $26.40 per test. And I bought this at my local pharmacy. The A1C Now test from Amazon, you see that here, is somewhat cheaper. So here you get four tests and four tests cost me $65 or $67.50. So that's $16.19 per test. So it's a cheaper option. They also have a 20 pack. So where you get 20 tests and that's around $200. Overall, this is the cheapest I've found. And I will leave a link for you down in the video description. Let me show you how to do that home test. I've done this test before, but I really recommend that you read the insert that comes in the packet, just the how to's, all the steps, as well as of course, watch this video because I have messed this test up before um, because I did not do it right and that's such a sad waste of money. But let me show you. If you already know how to use this test, don't worry about it, just skip ahead to the next section. We talk more about how to interpret your A1C result. But if you do not know how to do this, open up your box and in here, this is whole insert, read it. It's really helpful and explains all the steps. Um, it's different languages as well, but we open up the box here and what you see here is the actual meter. So save this because this box comes with four tests and it's the same meter that you use for all of them. So you want to get out a test and one of these little pouches with, you know, there's a finger poker and stuff, but let's unpack it. First, you want to open up this little pouch with the black line. So in here, see the finger poker. There's also the sample collection. I don't know what to call that container. That's the little one with the black one. But we're going to start out. First, you want to wash your hands with soap. I already did that. Make sure your hands are dry. Then you want to poke your finger. This one really pokes deeply, just so you are <laughs> you're warned. And you see, I'm really bleeding a lot. So you collect the blot drop in here. And you want to get in the right amount so it shouldn't overflow. I didn't get quite enough here, so I'll just push out a little bit more blood. So I'll collect all the blood in here. Here we go. And then you simply push it into the collection thingy here, all the way in, and then shake it. Now you put that aside, and then you open up the red pouch. 
the red pouch here has the actual test. So here you see, you see this little mark down here? So that has to match and line up with the mark on here. So let's just push that in. Here we go. And now it turns on. So you can see here it says wait. Pull this apart. And then you simply click it in there and they really push it down. Click and then it says run. This simply means that the test is running and now it takes five minutes. Let's fast forward. Here we go. And these are the last few seconds and here we go. That means that the test is done. 6.1%. So that is my current A1C. Now you have your A1C number and that's great. But what does it mean? Well, your A1C or your hemoglobin A1C is your average blood sugars over the last three months. People who do not live with diabetes generally have an A1C below 5.7%, but that does not mean that if you live with diabetes that you need to manage your blood sugars down below that level. Your A1C target should be tailored to you in collaboration with your medical team. The American Diabetes Association's general recommendation is that most adults should aim for an A1C below 7%. So an A1C of 7% translates to a blood sugar average of 154 milligrams per deciliter, so that is 8.6 millimole per liter. This is a conversion chart. However, if you just go into any search engine such as Google and you type in A1C conversion, it should show up with a calculator where you put in your exact A1C and it will translate it to your average blood sugar. Since my type 1 diabetes diagnosis in 97, I've had A1Cs ranging from the high 8s to the high 5s. And my current goal is to stay around 6 to 6.5%. So that's just what works for me. So that's my personalized goal. Um, you still need to figure out what's an appropriate goal for you. You know, A1C can be a beneficial number to keep track of because it does give you an idea of how your blood sugars are, again, on average. But the thing is, if you start to trend high, that might mean that you need to make some adjustments to your care. Now the million dollar question is, are these tests accurate? Can you actually trust the A1C number that you get with an at-home test? So for this video, I decided to do a little bit of an experiment and I wanted to compare the A1C Now test kit to the CVS test kit just to see, you know, how similar they were. And this was the result. You can see, very similar. Um, however, for it to be a good experiment, I did do more than one test of each. And what I found was that with the CVS at home test kit, I actually saw fluctuations. So I got results from 6% up to 6.4%. Whereas with the A1C Now kit, it just consistently came back with a 6.1%. To this story also comes that this product, the A1C Now kit, is IFCC as well as NGSP certified. And I actually did a full test. So I did a whole video where I tested this product up against an at-home uh, blot draw that you send into a lab, as well as actually going to the lab and get a full blot draw. If you want to see the outcome of that video, because that was an interesting experiment, or if you want to see my tips to how to keep your A1C below 6.5%, check that out. I'll leave a link to those two videos there. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe, like, and comment if you like my content and if you'd like to see more from me.